Password Keeper Module 13 More Secure Login So, uh, um, this afternoon, about midday, I published the uh, module 12 by converting uh, by converting the login to uh, ASCII code or ASCII number. Well, we are going to make it even more secure by converting the ASCII to binary. Let's see how let's see how we can do this. All right, let's go to our uh, folder, uh, the usual folder, and scroll down to our password keeper. Uh, right there. So uh, uh, this afternoon, I released this uh, module twelve. Copy paste. Let's make this guy a thirteen, and that module twelve has to do with the uh, securing or case sensitive rather securing the um, login um, so um, yeah let's take a look at this let me show you what we did uh, in the uh, module 12 before we continue let's take a look at this guy <clears throat> Uh, let's do this yes let's uh, I'm gonna comment this out uh, as a matter of fact I think we've got the yeah that's fine we can comment that out so this is what we have in the um, as far as the logins concern we were testing Um, hold on, we were testing, yeah, we were looking at the, we were looking at the, uh, let's see, we were looking at these guys, and if you notice, if you notice, um, we're looking at the, um, uh, each character, as an ASCII, each character as an ASCII, and if we let's do modif modification. What I want to do is make this guy more secure. All right, so um, here instead of replacing, we're not going to replace uh, uh replace the uh, empty space. I'm gonna comment out that way we can see exactly what it is. All right. So, see how these are separated? So each of these guy is the character, uh, little p, all right? But if we change this to, to big P, you see it's 80, all right? And if we change the K to big K, and the big K is 75, you see there? So, but yeah, this is okay. All right, this is okay. We can make it even more uh, secure by converting this ASCII to binary. By converting these guys to binary. All right. So and I was looking at the video on converting the on getting. Uh, the decimal to uh, to uh, binary, and let's uh, let's go to the uh, how about um, convert? Uh, how about decimal to yeah yeah to binary? And I was looking at this guy right here. 
uh, stop here. Right there. So at the bottom. That one. And so this is what we want to do. For example, 75 is a, is a big K. 75 is a big K. And the binary is this guy. And how we got here is doing this uh, division and taking the remainder. All right. So, so we can code making it similar to this and come up with these guys. All right. Let's see how we can do that. that this is what we want to achieve. Okay. This is what we want to achieve. All right. Um, Let's let's see uh, let's see convert uh, decimal. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's convert decimal to uh, binary. I think there's a text to binary. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna find something. Okay, this seems to be K. Alright, convert. Okay, but finally. <laughs> okay, so so this guy, yeah. So this guy, we can look at this guy and look at that guy, you see there? One zero zero. Is it one zero zero? Yep, one zero zero one zero one one. One zero zero one zero one one. So so we can use these two to uh to come up with our uh, with the function. Alright. So this is how we are gonna do it. This is how we're gonna do it. So this I'm going to copy this guy and then I'm going to uh say convert takes to binary so so what we can do is um, first off first off we want to um, if you notice here in this video we want to get the remainder all right, that remainder is the binary set, one of the binary sets. All right, and this is the dividend, meaning if you divide 75 by 2, you get the dividend of 70, 37 point so and so. And we don't want to, to use the point, we just want to get the dividend, not the remainder. All right. So the dividend is 37 here. All right. So it's uh, let me uh, pull up my calculator here. So this is what we want, you know, programmers. This is what you do. You're trying to come up with waves. All right. So I can, I 75 divided by two. You can see the dividend is 37. All right. So let's clear that out. Let's do. 37 divided by 2, the dividend is 18, you see here. Um, and then 18 divided by 2, you got 9. That's These are the dividends, all right? And then 9 divided by 2, you got 4, all right? So that's what we want. That's what we want to do. And then we got to, we got to, and I'm, let me close that, my calculator. And then we have to get the remainder as well. All right. So this is what I'm thinking to do. So this is good and dandy right here. Uh, what we want here is uh, we also want, um, let's keep track of the ASCII because we want our ASCII number, ASCII number, which is the, uh, which is this guy, the ASCII number, these are all ASCII numbers, alright, 
These are the all set of ASCII number, and that's what we want. And we want to use the ASCII number to make calculation for us. So let's do uh, I um, ASCII as integer. All right. So let's 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 start from there for now. So here we say I ASCII uh ASCII and then take this out for now and then we want it to be a we want it to be a text I mean a, an integer I think I took out one there so that is one in one ASCII but now we want to look through each of this guy uh if we Go back to this guy. We want to loop through this guy until we get to less than zero, to zero or less. All right. So this is how we're gonna do it. This is how we are going to do it. I'm gonna take this out. We can say, uh, I'm gonna take this out. We can say, all right. For instance, if this guy is, if this guy is 75. All right, we want to say do while um, ASCII is greater than zero. All right, so here is uh, hmm. Well, we can't really do. Uh, we can't really do. ASCII like this equals um, first of all we gotta remember the first the 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 ASCII you can't do uh, let's see how we're gonna do this um, yeah you can't do it like this this is um, How's this gonna work? Uh, let's let's think a little bit here. I'm thinking out loud. I'm thinking out loud. Let's do a uh, let's do a temp as integer. How about yeah? How about a temp equals ASCII what I want to uh, what I want to uh, remember here is the original the division all right so because if you divide this guy if you say I S G S G equals I S G uh, get the uh, get the uh, dividends now if you revert you will change this guy to the backslash it's a dividend if you do this it's a division all right so those two are different all right we just want a dividend we just want to reverse this guy so once we get that we get the result all right we get the result of whatever that is I actually, you know what? We want to do this. That, there, yeah, there you go. Right. And so this guy will be 35. And next time around, it's going to be. Next time around, it's going to be um, 35. And we have uh, this guy will be 35. And we'll set it to the temp to be 35. And then we use this guy, 35 divided by 2, and we continue down until this, uh, until this ASCII is, uh, is, is less than 0. I think that will work. I think that will work. Alright, so let's think about this. So, okay, and now how, how are we going to keep track of the mod? Right? How are we gonna keep track of the mod? So we can do this. 
uh, the remainder rather. Um, let's do. Um, let's do. Let's do R as as string. Okay. So the R then. Um, okay, hold on. How about string ASCII? There you go. So now we're going to keep track of uh, not ASCII. My bad. This will be binary. So you and I are working this together, by the way. All right. So we're going to say um, binary equals i tim mod 2 all right so here is the one that we get the the uh dividend but here we say this guy to get the the remainder the remainder it will always be one zero all right remainder will always be one or zero one zero one or zero see there so let's see how we work this together uh, and then let me see let's, let's look at this guy again okay and then this guy would be the significant significant is the last latest significant is the latest so if significant is latest or earliest, significant is the earliest, then we want to tag this guy behind, all right? So this is, yeah, if it's significant, it's, we tag this guy behind, all right? And then, and then we need to reset this set. All right, this would be, we want to, so for the next character, for example, for the five, uh, let's see how that works. Oh, for the next character, like A, and this is B, for example, another B, we're going to keep doing this, all right, until we're done, okay, until we're done. So, and then we do this. Once we, once it's less than or less than zero, then it's going to jump out from here. And we're going to say this guy equals S binary. All right. And then we need to keep track of the binary. Um, let's see if we can do this. So I think that's, uh, I think that's going to work. Let's see if we get barking here. Let me see. Yeah, let's let's see if we can get a barking here. I think this will work. So if it's a K, it's going to come in here and it's just going to divide this guy until this guy is zero. I'm thinking out loud here. This guy and this temp will be set to remember that previous number. And this guy will be changed and then we reset okay all right so let's see how that works all right let's go back to the uh, login uh so we know that now now let's do uh this guy let's change this to see what it see what it gives us let's see what it gives us all right let's do that whoa you know what? That's too. That that is just too much to. Uh, yeah. Well, let's do the K that we know. All right. Let's do the K that we know. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to keep this guy there, and I'm going to change this guy. Uh, K. Let's take a look at this guy. Look at that. Is it is it in the right order here? Oh, why does it say Pentagon? That should say password. Did I, did I mistype there? Oh, there. Yeah, let's try that again. 
it looks like it, we got it reverse here. One zero zero one zero one one. Huh. We got one zero zero. We got it backwards. All right. Let's look at this one. We got it backwards. Let's change the order. <laughs> okay. Well, we're getting somewhere. All right. Uh, we're getting somewhere. I think this is going to. Uh, I think this is going to work. Um. Yeah. Let's go to uh, code here. We're gonna change this guy. Copy that. Remove that and put this to the front. <laughs> All right. So let me see. Why is that? Oh, I think that. Huh. Well. Well, regardless, we reverse that. And the latest combination is going to be here. I see. Okay, let's see that. Let's see if that's going to do what we want it to do. Ah, it still didn't reverse for us. Why is that? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Why is that? Um. Oh, I know why. I know why. I think this is the right way. I think this is right. I think what happened here, we need to move this guy to the front. That's what we need to do. Let's see? There. I think this guy will always be last because we want to get. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see what that works. Let's see how that works. That's better. You see that? One one zero one zero zero one. Good. One one zero one zero zero one. We'll take a look at this guy. Uh her. Huh. Okay, I think we had it right. This the yeah this guy is correct. I think what happened here the significant is the bottom here one zero zero one zero one one. Not sure why that is. Is it why is zero one? Uh, well, so that means we had it right. So that means that means we had it right all along. So yeah, I think we I think we had it right. I'm gonna control Z. I didn't even look at the uh, yeah. I didn't even look at this guy. All right. So let's try that again. So one zero zero one. And look at this second uh, one. Huh? Why is that? One zero zero one zero one one, and this guy gives out different. It has a zero in front. One zero zero one zero one one. One zero zero one zero zero one zero one one. So. So what I see. All right, because this guy explained that it's got one zero one one zero zero one zero. So this is the order that it came in. But I wonder if this guy is incorrect. It tags that first character for zero in there. If we if we took the, out that zero, it looks exactly the same. Well. Anyways, we know our, our, our uh, this guy is correct. All right, this guy is correct. What if we add? Let's do A B. A B. All right. So let's do. Uh, let's go to this calculator. Uh, a B. And take the 
zero out because I think that was different. Huh, that looks exactly the same. That looks exactly the same as this guy if we took out the zero in front. You see there? One one zero 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 one exactly what we have a ah oh, no zero hmm what is that what is that let me see that uh actually you know what you know what oops something's not right we got one one zero zero three zero one zero one one this is three zero here one zero three zero one zero Oh, we got it backwards. Okay, okay, I see it. It's just a little backwards, I think. So let's do that. Let's move this guy. Let's move that guy to the front. See if that, see if that gives us a better thing. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's correct. One. Good. And then one, one, zero, 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 three, zero, one, zero. One, one, three, zero, one, zero. Perfect. Just like that. So, we'll, so we have to uh, remove the zero in front here. All right. So according to all calculation, the zero in front here is not right. All right, and that looks exactly the same if we move zero from the front from from this guy. All right, it looks exactly how all cal calculation works. I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work. So now instead of using the uh, instead of using this guy for our login. All right, for our login, we're gonna use this guy to. Oh my bad, hold on. You know we can, we need to make a comparison, by the way, because uh yeah let's uh, let's change that to special code, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing here. See if it brings out. So there. So as you can see, this username is using the special code that we that I put out this morning. But what we want is to converting this ASCII decimal, convert this ASCII number into des uh, into binary. This is all binary. You see there, each character has a set of its own. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. And we got a nine sets of uh, boundaries here. I think that's uh, that is going to be even better. All right. Now it's real hard to to guess which characters it is. Whereas the ASCII, you can guess. All right, you can guess the ASCII what letter it is. Pretty much. But to be guessing the binary, huh? That's a uh, yeah. That's that's tad hard. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. We are going to swap this guy, leaving the ASCII number there. But um, yeah. But we're gonna use this guy. All right. So let's implement it. There you go. You and I are working this together. Appreciate that. Look at that. So now 
we are not we are not going to uh yeah we are not going to uh add the space in there we want to make sure that there's no space all right remember if you leave the space in there uh what happened is that um hackers can can do that so the space means you separate the character apart and if you want to convert ask it to character and then you just say hey for each character in the space or for each uh, ASCII uh, go get me a, a character they can guess it that way and that's why we want to remove this space all right so that we that it doesn't know that if if there was a hacker it doesn't know where to break all right where the break is so here's the same way and if we do that and go to the front and take a look at this guy you can not really tell where the break is as far as the ASCII is concerned uh, similarly these guys right here series of one and zero you can not tell where the break is to be to be uh, uh, converting back to the uh, character and this is I believe is more secure than this guy this guy is a little set, all right? He has a longer set, <laughs> okay? So that's what we're going to do, all right. Whew. Had to think about it a little bit, all right? But you know what? I got to give this guy credit right here because, yeah, looking at this, uh, yeah, this, uh, this, he is a helper right here, all right? Just by looking at how he came up with this uh, binary helps a lot, all right? And, you know, like, yeah. Getting this uh, dividends and and remainder that's easy, but the the way to get this uh, this is good. Yeah, thank you whoever you are. The organic chemistry, uh, organic chemistry tutor. More well, thanks. Uh, let's back, get back to our code. Now we can do this, and then uh, coming out this guy. Let's push this guy down. Now we can go in here, right? In this login and replace what we did with the other one you see there so I'm going to uh, make a copy of this guy convert to binary and then close that file I'm gonna pop right back in here you see there all we have to do is just do that all right we just can convert both of them uh, as a matter of fact you know what I'm gonna do a break right here uh, and then there all right and that will uh, yeah that will be more secure I I think all right control s uh, let's close that and let's uh, let's go to all front okay good we comment all right let's log in let's log in I'm gonna close that guy out remember we got to run the menu first here Let's log in. All right. And it's going to work the same way as before, except now we are we're getting a little more advanced, more make it more difficult, all right? So I'm going to do that and uh, P A N Y A. Hold on. I'm going to do capital P A N A Y K. Nope. No use. No good. How about P A N Y K O N E Nap no good you see there but if we just change this guy K to a little K nice nice alright so what about yeah let's go in here what about if we want to make it like uh yeah let's let's do that we're going we are going to make all uh, password using special character how about uh, exclamation at p-a-n-y p-a-n-y-a all right so remember that safe that's our password now all right you, you can't be guessing that thing I'm gonna log out log in Uh, I forgot. Uh, 
P A N Y A. Perfect. You see that? Now, if you were to use the string, uh, let me yeah, let, let me log back in. My bad. I was going I was going to change my password again. Uh, exclamation at capital P A N Y A. Log in. Nice. I'm gonna change this again. All right. See what. Uh, so I'm gonna change this to little p a n just something like we did all right yes something how about um how about big p big k all right let's log out let's log back in log back in let's show that P A N Y A K O N E P A N Y A K O N E Eh Uh how about B K we know it was a B K Eh How about B P Nice That's very good that's case sensitive That is case sensitive There you have it happy programming Thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.